Pixel Rifts is in the house. Thanks so much for the four months, my friend. <laughs> Joel, eat. Yes. I'm attempting to. Attempting to eat. Hello, Jared. Thanks for coming by as always. Well, that's a creeper. <laughs> that's two creepers. Okay, then. They would do a number on this path. So yeah, I like I want this to be a little bit thinner on the right hand side here. So I think we're just going to have to go through this with just one just taking out one side here up to I guess here. Uh, there are some new textures. Uh, where are they? The coarse dirt. I borrowed some and made some of my own. And I have um, some random random stones in the coarse dirt now. Uh, most of it is uh, Jermsey Boy. There's still a, a light patch in the corner here I need to get rid of. But uh, other than that, it's just kind of like a random uh, Optifine. Uh, I can't remember what they call that. Alternate textures? Texture variations, I think, is how it how it's supposed to be dealt with. So, I had some fun. I was I needed to do some. I wanted to do some personal art on Friday, so that's what I did. I kind of went in and learned a little bit more about about pixel art and stuff. So this is going to need to be fixed up a little bit more. I feel like this would probably be, but then this would not be. Yeah, Germ has got some really cool ideas. I really enjoy stuff that he does. Like I like the purple ender pearls. I think those are really cool. Just subtle little things that make a dip big difference. Um, what was I doing here? Yeah, so this be green. And then why does that look funny? I think we have to get rid of this. Yeah, that's in a weird shape. It's a weird shape. I'm not sure why I'm putting all this detail in. It's probably going to be changed from path to something else anyway. I think I might actually want to pull this back here too. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think I might even push this out just a little bit farther here. And then this is going to have some sort of staircase, I guess. Dirt path, something. Yeah, I'm liking that. Really starting to like and get used to the Vastin pack in videos. It's always a challenge to get used to a new pack when you can't use them firsthand. Yeah, it is challenging to get used to that Vastin pack even when you're using it firsthand. Um, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying that it's it's just a big change from what I'm used to, which is mostly default. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been fun though. I've learned a lot, which is always a good thing. this out too. Okay. 
So there, so now we've got this path that kind of curves down this way. Feels good to run along. Obviously there's nothing around it. I really feel like there should be a house or something here that could be fun to build. And then we're gonna go down this way. And I feel like here, we're probably gonna go between, between this horrible lake that will turn into a, a cool looking pond. And we'll probably just steer around the lake or the pond and then come back over this way. There was another big point down this that we had to avoid too though. I think it was up here. Yeah, I kind of want to bridge this. I don't know whether I want to go into the town there or if I want to bridge that little thing. I think it could be fun to put a bridge over it. So let's take a fly. Optifying makes rolling planes look so much nicer. Oh yeah, with the with the side texture for grass, I agree. Yeah, so there's this weird hole here. I guess there's no reason to bridge it because it's so much easier to just go around. I guess we could dig it out. Hold on, let me just land. Whoop, land. Oh, not quite as high as I planned, but... Oh, really? Oh, here we go. I want to go up. Here we go. So there is the path we were working on. And we're going to come down this way. And I was going to stick left of this and just kind of go straight into the village, which I guess makes sense. And then we could bridge this and have other things go off in other directions, I guess. This does look like it's meant to be dug right out, though. Like, you know, take that right down to, to the river. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we could attach that to the ponds. That would be cool too. Time consuming, but, but cool. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks like the most logical place to come into the village is going to be here. I guess, I mean, we can move the church if we wanted to. Yeah, I guess we would come up against this and then we would curve up this way and then go and land here. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. Where's my, let's just put down some stone, stone markers. So we're going to go here, long here. Why is, that was weird. I guess it went on top of the flower. Uh, down this way. Right along here seems like a good idea because this looks like a natural spot to maybe bridge this thing. It'd be kind of cool. But then also along here. I think at this point they're probably going to be hugging whatever we do for the edge of this pond. So we should probably put that in first. And then it'll come out this way. Like that. Yeah, I don't know about the heights. Uh, this is probably 63. Oh, it's 68. Interesting. Okay. So if this is 68, 69, what's the bottom of that ravine pit thing? Doop, doop, doop. 66 65 still well above sea level because that could easily go down to that that's going to be sea level like this is going to be 63 down here 65 64 yeah yeah this is this is sea level here sweet good idea jared thanks i think that's what we'll do i think that's what we'll do for this area i mean i'm not going to be doing a terrible amount in this and in, in the next of the wild there's still unfinished builds i just i needed a break today i wanted to just kind of like be in the vast openness of minecraft and build some roads all right well i think that's that's a pretty rough looking road like it's not straight it kind of winds around a little bit let's uh take a flight up this way let's see what that looks like cool thanks for hanging out jared take her easy Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 
I feel like there needs to be more over here, but we can we can come to that later. Stuck the landing too. Yeah, it's a bit of a straight line. The whole meadows is just a straight line. Like if we fly up here, this whole meadow is just this one long road. We wind it a little bit here and there, but it's really just this one long, one long road. Interesting. Okay. So I can't stream for too much longer. Uh, I think the best thing to do is going to be to maybe connect these two paths that we made because we had this key area here that I wanted to sort out and that's done. And now I want to just, I think the best thing to do to finish this up would be to uh, finish up this side of things. I think these stairs are looking, actually they're looking pretty good. Uh, stairs, hill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so now we have to come through here and decide what approach we want. And I feel like this is gonna this is too too steep a curve. So let's do let's continue with these and we'll do maybe two there and then two in like that. So that means that that is going to be a thing. That probably won't be there. For anybody wondering, the logic behind all this is just to kind of do like a cascading number set. So like if you've got two, you kind of go three and then two and then two and then one. If you can kind of get it to go in the right sequence and it looks smooth. Oh, these flowers are going to despawn. I need to. Uh, I don't need the seeds. We have lots of those. Let's see here. Three. And try not to have too many singles in a row because it just starts to look like a straight line. So I feel like here, could maybe do two. That. But then cut back again. For whatever reason, when you do patterns with like two like this, it doesn't look like a straight line, but when you do just singles for too long, it does start to really look odd. So I guess we can just get rid of some of this stuff here. Oh, am I out of grass? And I guess we can just, just do a five wide path and just see how that looks. Be the best, way, best way to go. One, two, three.
Whoops. I think that was right. Need just a couple more grass blocks. Oh, I can't pick up anything else. That's what it is. Ah, so this is where it gets a little tricky. I think the thing to do is going to be to dump some of my dirt. Go. Yeah, so at this point, I think we have to switch to doing threes. think yeah that's weird might have to actually push this a little bit more more I think maybe we have to get rid of this I didn't want to but might have to Hmm. Curious. How can we smooth this out? Let's try three here, three here, and then three there. And then maybe that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for. Just have to maybe smooth this out a little bit so it doesn't look so weird. So I feel like that side's pretty good. This side is messed up though. It gets really thin. So I feel like here we have to start doing maybe twos. Except for maybe ones there. Maybe stagger them a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think that smoothed it out a little bit. Still not great right here. Feels kind of funky, but not much you can do. It'll look better with some trees along the side of it too. Actually, speaking of, what I should do while I'm thinking about it is uh, drop a couple of saplings so that while we're working the next time, there will be some trees. So let's see, random. I like this big tree and we'll do like tree there and tree there and how about another tree there and one there and maybe hmm, put one over here. Don't want to block the view on the left. I don't think 
And I want to put one up here. Let's see if there's another spot we could put a tree, maybe down here. Don't, well, maybe not that one. I don't want it to look like too much. Just, with this big tree here, I feel like there would be at least one or two trees nearby. Maybe we should cluster them a little bit and have maybe like, have another one be kind of like here and then not have one, not have one over here. Thinking that maybe like seeds from this tree have kind of blown around and a couple of other smaller trees have propped up. That could be kind of cool. I think I want one right there. Cool, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This is feeling pretty straight here too. We'll have to sort that out. But as the music cues up, I think that it's gonna be my cue to end the stream for the day. Uh, it's uh, getting a little bit late for me here. But thanks for tuning in. If, uh, if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more content like it, then you can follow me over on YouTube at Joel Duggan. You can follow me on Twitter. It's just my name, Joel Duggan, and that is where I normally announce when I go live. And uh, don't forget to tune into the Spawn Chunks. We're back starting tomorrow. That's Monday, uh, January 7th. We're going to be recording episode 21. And we're going to be recording every week from there on in. So it should be a good time. And I hope to see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>